my youngest brother, the trombone player. Trombone shorty. We bringing him along, giving him, making him exposed to what's happening with the music and to meet the people and people to see him young at that young age, exposing him with the music. We try to train him young and make it happen. Your, your ribs to be able to expand, and you might get a, a stronger note of you if you're right here. It's a part of the tradition that we must give back to the kids just to make sure that we can keep the legacy of New Orleans music going. Well, I do it because the older musicians done it for me. No, you, you got to come to beat. Yeah, from beat. We start with beat. F what? How can it be? Exactly. F sharp. I, I guess I choose to play instrument because it's, it's like it was in my blood. Like my dad, the whole side of the family, they play, you know, they play instruments, all of them, they musicians. So it, it was kind of down the line. From here to here is what? Here to here? Here to here? Here to here? Four. So. What they're teaching us here is how the different cultures of music come together how to improvise better, how to make up, you know, like new songs, how to harmonize with the rest of the horns that's in the program. Two, one, two, three, four, one. I feel like they really put it in the kids' hands and they just kind of guide you the way that they teach and they'll give you pointers, but they'll let you be your own musician at the same time. Oh, we play. What song is that? Go do it again. I'm gonna li start listening to that type of music and use it with my improvising and mix it in, mash it up. It helped me solo better and it gave me a different style and it separated, from, separated me from different musicians. He, when he was playing and he did like this thing with his finger and it made a noise on the drum, that was so cool to me. I never heard it before, but... Uh... Can you give up our <laughs> The impact that, you know, music education can have on a child's life is nothing short of miraculous. It really can change lives. To some of them, I think it's a calling, um, and to give them the outlet to pursue that, and hopefully use it to, you know, develop a profession. And and in doing so, it grows our culture here in the city of New Orleans. On the Panettes is an all-female brass band. Um, it's about ten of us in a band all together, all females. We're the only female brass band in the whole world. My dream would be to travel overseas, like to go around the world to play music. Also known as the dominant In this uh, camp, we have younger teachers. They know as a student the confusion that we might have, and they can explain it as a student. I'd like to be a performer, but also I want to, I want to integrate as much as possible with the musical community here and Trombone Shorty Foundation provides a great avenue uh, for me to integrate and uh, to be as involved as I possibly can. Those two together um, allow me a lot of opportunities once I leave Tulane. Tulane has just been wonderful for us uh, to house the program here and I, sometimes I think some of the kids that's studying here that's getting ready to graduate they come in and teach some of the kids and they have that hands-on thing to teach what they just learned in class on a college level, they may be able to break it down to some of the kids that's in the academy. It's just a wonderful thing. I mean, imagine being in a you know 17-year-old kid coming to college, and you're in New Orleans. To be able to watch the next generation of great New Orleans musicians and to get a sense of that tradition and that heritage. Tulane's role in this is our partner. That you know, we work directly with the music department and with Music Rising, you know, in the Center for uh, for the Gulf South to you know, host these kids, provide the instruction, um, 
you know, with the agreement that collectively we're going to grow this program and find ways to serve more kids every year and bring in new and different instructors and broaden the scope of the offerings. All of these kids here are high school students here in New Orleans. They represent the future of our music, the future of our culture, and it's an honor to introduce the Trombone Shorty Academy. So much violence and different things that's going on with the juveniles and and if I got some kids that's really interested in music and that shows up here for class every week I'll take that responsibility on helping them keep focused through music and it just makes me smile that I can help help the kids and just be a part of their life and inspire them to go further it's just one of those things we can't kill off no matter where we are New Orleans has that type of undeniable soul that's in, in us